So let's set the scene here. I'm using the Aero 15, the latest one with the Intel 10th generation CPU. So this is the i7-10875H. So it's an eight core processor. Now this does have a 62 watt limit, but we're gonna go into Intel XTU and I've increased that limit to 120 watts, okay? So it will do 120 watts for about two seconds and then it will sort of back off. We'll see how it goes. In Cinebench, this is the latest 10th generation Intel CPUs. Why not just show you how it performs? I don't know what this um, red thing is down here. So you've got to look down the bottom right hand corner. This is where all the telemetry is on how hot it is. I can't undervolt it yet, but let's just run it and see how we go here. And now you can see a score I've done there, but we want to see the temperatures and what sort of watts we can pump into it. Now, Aero have done an amazing job. I'll just get rid of that. So boom, oh, I'll turn the fans up full, sorry. Let's get those fans up. Um, yeah, this will throttle at 90 degrees. That's because Gigabyte have like, um, they've limited it to 90 degrees. So you can see that it says thermal throttle. It's pushing 106 watts. So gigabyte hats off, amazing job, okay? You're pushing 105 watts into your CPU and it's only 90 degrees, amazing, all right? And that translates to about four gigahertz. This can do 4.3 gigahertz because this is the eight core i7. So 4.3 4 is its maximum. I assume that'll be about 120 watts or something like that, but it's basically doing 3.9 now. Thermal throttling because it's hitting 90. This can go to 100 degrees, but Gigabyte have chosen to cap it there at 90 degrees, but we're still pushing over 100 watts. So Gigabyte can't do any more. They've done their job. They're allowing this CPU to have 100 watts pumped into it, over 100 watts, sustained. And look at it, it's just plowing away. So there's no power limit throttling, no current, thro current throttling, and there's only thermal throttling because they chose it. All right, so now it's backed off. I'll turn the fans off. All right, so let's go have a look at that score. There you go, 3739. Well, for comparison, uh, let's say the Ryzen, the 35 watt part in the G14, that will do over 4,000 with a 35 watt part using, oh, well, around half the amount. Oh, actually, they go to about 60 watts or whatever. So yeah, much less power and it's doing a higher score. So that is what it is. Let me know in the comments what you think. Follow me on Twitter because you'll see some of the benchmarks of this Aero already. I'll probably have the video out tomorrow for the Aero gaming review. I will do content creation with that era as well. They've done an amazing job, Gigabyte, okay? So they've done their job. Intel, all right, you're behind AMD here. That's no surprise here. Um, yeah, that is what it is. What can I say there? And also, yes, the RTX 2060, no, 2070 Super. Yeah, they're faster. They are. They're a little bit faster if you're talking RTX 2070 Super Max Q versus the old 2070 Max Q. We're talking um, around you know 10ish sort of percent faster. Yeah, so yeah, maybe even more in some circumstances. So anyway, stay tuned for that. I just thought I'd show you the Intel CPUs. You can see these 10th generation CPUs. They're going to be going in lots of laptops this year. XPS 15, XPS 17, the new MacBook Pros. Uh, of course, the Aero and just oh, pretty much every laptop. Well, you saw what the part does. Let me know in the comments what you think. Follow me on Twitter and sub up. Sub up, boys, because, yeah, we've got some stuff coming. But, um, yeah, I'm not that excited about the CPU, to be honest. And, yes, my solid-state drive has turned to a floppy. <laughs>